Brett Benetti here with you, and again, it's one of my week, favorite weekends of the year coming up. It is Supernova. Uh, one of the special guests in, uh, in town at the moment. She's a star of Arrow, which I'm uh, really enjoying at the moment, uh, Juliana Harkavy. What welcome up? to Perth. <laughs> yes, Perth. I know, welcome. So, you having fun so far? V yes. You've we been here since Wednesday, right? Been here since Wednesday, and we are loving Perth. Yeah. We've had great food, and everyone's really nice. I heard, I heard beautiful. that with, uh, with one of your people that's been here with you. So, yeah, uh, we've been enjoying ourselves. Mm. Mm. So, the first time I, I, I saw you in the Arrowverse, we like to call it Arrowverse, don't we? But uh, it was The Flash. You were basically uh, in an episode of The Flash. And that was the first one you saw? That was the first one I That's saw. That's funny. Because uh, that, that was your first appearance. Of basically In the after, Flash? Yeah. You, yeah. you were after Revenge. You were basically <laughs> hell-bent on, uh, on payback. Always. And uh, obviously uh, <laughs> the Flash helped you and obviously uh, the Green Arrow helped you. And then you turned up on Arrow and then you've obviously been playing Dinah Drake uh, ever since. And uh, yeah. enjoy. I've still got a bit of catch-up to do. I'm still early in the in the current season. So oh, cool. Where, where are you no at spoilers. right now? Uh, probably episode three or four. Of uh, season six? Season six, yeah. Great. So in, enjoying it. So. Like a perfect amount to binge watch. Well, that's what I like doing. I like banking up my shows. So, Me too. Uh, um, you know, it's not next week on. No, now on. So <laughs> yeah. I, I like doing that. But the great thing about the, the crossovers as well, because yeah. you've, you've uh, appeared in three of them so far, but mm. I don't think I've seen you in... Uh, DC Legends of Tomorrow yet, so I don't think I've got, I'm up to that episode. So, okay. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah. But, I did uh, not do Supergirl. That no, was the that's, one. A, that's what I was going to yeah. think. Supergirl is obviously the, the one that you need to, uh, yes. uh, to appear on next. So. Yeah. But ha how fun is it appearing on Arrow at the moment? So, you love all the costumes oh. and, uh, and obviously the action, uh, obviously the, uh, the it's, scream. Oh my God, the scream, the yeah. costume. It's an actor's dream. It's, yeah. it's the coolest role that anyone could possibly ever book. Dinah Drake is an incredible, iconic, amazing, strong character, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's amazing. Every day is is insane. It's very fun. So you're the third Black Canary. Uh, third one. Third one. So, yeah, but you're living up to the part beautifully. So uh, thank you. Really enjoying your role. I said I love the series, but uh, thank you. How did the role come apart? How did, how did it basically fall in your lap? I mean. Uh, Obviously, you're making the most of the opportunity. Hope so. I hope I am. Yeah, you, you are. Thank you. It's uh, It was crazy how it came to be because uh, my husband and I had been living in Florida for about nine years. And luckily, at the time, there was a, a tax incentive. So there was some acting work coming in. So I got a little bit of a trajectory going. Um, and then we decided to move to L.A. after almost a decade. We had, like, just enough money and, like, we had everything we needed. Packed our dogs into the back of a truck, moved to L.A. We were there for three months. Arrow was maybe my second audition that I got, and I booked it. And so I left him in L.A., and I went and moved to Vancouver, and we have been there ever since, and it's been two years now. Gold. But it was, like, just from the universe. It was a totally unexpected yeah. miracle. Yeah. Were you a fan of, like, uh, the DC world before this as well? Were you always into it? Because you started at a very young age, didn't you? I did. Yeah, I was nine when I started. Um, nine. What's funny is that when I when I started acting, my dad had gotten a job for Warner Brothers, and he owned a part of like not owned that's not the right word he was working for DC uh, in their publishing area. So he was he, he was working with the comics with Batman and and he would come home and it was like a part of my my brain and my makeup that I almost you know was so little it was like my subconscious almost, <laughs> but I felt very connected to it. Um, and actually, before my audition for Arrow, I accidentally went into the DC Comics building before I went into the uh, audition room and, and got to see like this incredible homage to all the characters. And I was like, yes, this is inside of me. So it's funny. It was, yeah, because of that, it was sort of like in there somewhere. <laughs> Who was your favorite character when, uh, when you, you were reading all these DC comics? Were you, did you have a favorite? Was it the girl characters or was it... Uh Wonder Woman, or was it basically one of the guys? He, he was one of the guys. What's funny is, like, I never, other than Wonder Woman, who I didn't really read much, many of her comics or anything growing up, it was Batman. My mom loved Batman. My dad was working for DC, so everything was like Batman, Batman. Yeah. And I, I really liked Batman, and he was like, he was my guy, but I didn't have that female superhero when I was a little girl. Um, so, funny enough, the first thing I ever wrote myself as when I was six years old, I wrote a play for myself with my dad, a puppet show, yeah. and I made myself like a, a superhero. And and I feel like I had a longing for that superhero, but I didn't have a girl. So hopefully I can be 
that person for another little girl I'm now. I'm a Batman uh, person. You myself. are? Yeah. I'll, Batman's I'll, great. I'll, I'll show you uh, some of my man caves. <laughs> I'm a bit of a collector myself. I uh, would love to I'll see that. I'll speak to Finn and I'll, I'll speak to... Uh, uh, to Richard this morning. Mm. And I'm probably going to give you the same advice because mm. one of the regrets of Richard Dreyfus is that he never collected or kept any mementos from his shows. Make sure you keep some mementos really? from Arrow. Yeah. Have you done that so far? That's, uh, it's so funny that Especially he said... Especially the costumes. The costumes. Well, Finn was funny, actually. He basically said that he because of his last season before he... Uh, uh, met his demise. It was basically like a a, a sack. <laughs> and it was like, well, what am I going to do with He's like rolling sack? it up in his yeah. backpack, <laughs> or hanging up in the closet. So you got some killer costumes, and oh actually you got to uh, you got to keep those as well. I, you know what? That's funny. I hadn't thought about that. You know what I keep? I, because it's such an easy thing to steal from set. <laughs> borrow or, uh, B- borrow uh, from yeah. set. Uh, the bullet casings. We shoot oh, yeah. tons of guns. They're props. Yeah, they're yeah, fake guns, though, and yeah. you get the casings. And I I saved probably. 45 bullet casings from The Walking Dead. When really? I did that, I still have them. And you should have lasted longer on that, by the way. Thank you. You were killing it. Yeah, it was My like, bank account agrees with you. Yeah. <laughs> really, it's like when you got the script for that, it's like, why? You know what's really messed up? I didn't know, but everybody else like on set did, so hair and makeup and wardrobe, they all knew because they get the breakdown. Yeah. So my first day on set, everyone was like, it's so nice. To-. I was like, I'm so excited. And they were like, it's so nice to meet you. And just, just, just so <laughs> you know, just long. so you know, nobody comes on this show like expecting anything. Just don't get excited. <laughs> and I was like, mm-hmm. it was like my first you day. I figured it out pretty quick. Yeah. You know? But um, no, it's because, one of those shows like Game of Thrones as well. It's like you never know when when they're gonna. Never, you know. never. But that's what makes it great. Yeah. I feel like that's part of what makes the show great. Is oh yeah, exactly. It's it's. it's you have to have the courage. And, to, unexpected. Yeah. Yeah. And also, you have to keep in mind, like as an actor, every day and every episode that you do is a blessing, and you can't get you you can't get too comfortable. You know, you're blessed to do a single second of of a show or a character. So. Well, I said, just keep in, keep enjoying it, and as I said, mm. the, the uh, obviously the fans uh, love you. I saw again, you put something on uh, on social media from the S- Sydney Supernova as well, and there's a lot of people coming through taking photos of you and speak. It's okay that you did that actually. Oh so. yeah, um, my my friend Christine and then my husband did time lapses of the last yeah. few cons that we've done, and because it's just amazing how many people there are. It's like there's no way to quantify how many. Like it's a very cool Some thing. Some of the poses. Yeah, <laughs> the poses, and yeah. you I mean you meet hundreds and thousands of people and um so i started to like document it a little bit do time lapses and, and you got you got panels you got autographs you got photos yeah. a lot of fans in perth want to meet you that's for sure especially really? taking talkback calls about supernova so that's a lot really of arrow cool. fans calling in so it's very surreal yeah very surreal to come to the other side of the earth and have people know what you're doing the funniest story i have about but you basically as <laughs> a, from afar is that uh i've got these two i've got two kids They've seen Dolphin Tale one and two. But oh. I still haven't watched. They, they talk about. It. I said they were mean. Yeah, I haven't. I still haven't seen Dolphin Tale one oh. and two. So I have to go back after the weekend and watch it after I've met you. So I that's think, so cool. But the kids have seen it. They love that, that, that those movies growing up. Tell so. them I say thank you. Yeah, that's, <laughs> we'll do. That's really might bring cool. them across the weekend to meet you as well. Oh so. please, yeah, I would love yeah, to meet them. That might be uh, might, might be a plan as well. That so. would be great. Yeah. Is there anything else in the future that we should look out uh, for, 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 from you? Uh, well, season seven of Arrow. Yeah. I mean, honestly, we sh- we shoot uh, we film for ten months out of the year. Wow. So there's there's not much time for a lot else. Some people manage to do other things, like Echo Kellum, who plays Mr. Terrific. Yeah. He writes like a script every week. So does Emily from our show. Um, like there are people who have figured out how to do more than just Arrow. Multitask. <laughs> I'm multitask. I'm on my second year. I dedicate every ounce of my creational being creational creative being to arrow right now use that (laughs) (laughs) creational um it's it's uh kind of all-encompassing so i'm really excited for season seven because that's where all of my stuff's going well you must love to train for it as well the super moves and stuff like that so not just the pose at the screen but you've got obviously good moves you really train it's true and it's funny because my i I keep talking about my husband he's sitting you guys can't see but he's sitting (laughs) over there we had a good chat with him before actually we're we're gonna send him uh to certain places in perth and make sure he doesn't get lost thank you we we need that (laughs) yeah um uh, yeah, it's it's just I, I don't even remember what the point of your question was, but it's all great. <laughs> no, that's all right. So look, um, we're looking forward to seeing you over the weekend uh, yeah. again. We're so glad you made it uh, into Perth. There's going to be a lot of fans uh, keen to meet you. So uh, awesome. thank you so much thank for your you. time. It was much a pleasure to meet you. And I'm going to go back and watch Dolphin Tale one and two. That's amazing. <laughs> that's taking it back. It's a good feel-good movie. You'll cry a little loud. You know, it's nice. <laughs>
No worries. Thanks again. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys.